Welcome in Annemir's lovely place. Welcome in Annemir's lovely place. Hi dear friends from all over the world. Yes, I'm here with my Sadalin. And you see Sadalin is in a, this lovely outfit because she did twin with Elisabeth Alexandra over at um, Kitty and Tati, Totti from Little Wattle Nursery but it's real really too warm here for this it's 30 degrees here so see how warm she is dressed so I'm going to take the cardigan out and I'm going to pop her in this lovely tamper outfit that I did get from a dear friend so it's hashtag friends dog loves. so we're going to do that and um, yeah I said I wouldn't record it but um, I think it's nice to uh, to make more videos in once today and uh, because it's so warm um, I will not pop over every day I will just make some videos for this week it's very warm and I hope that the fires in the forest in Canada will stop st will stop because it's just uh, horrible to see New York in the terrible smog from uh, the from the forest fires and um, yeah and when people can, can hardly breathe there it's just terrible you know yeah so I think about people and I know that my friend Claudia Montreal they have also the smog in their city so um, yeah it's uh, really not good not good at all so you see how warm she's dressed <laughs> really too warm I think I'm going to put this cushion aside for a moment so this is uh, Sarah Lynn Sarah Lynn is the Fito sculpt by Elisa Maddox and she is reborn by me and she was the first one I did reborn myself so I painted her I rooted her I rooted her eyebrows I rooted her eyelashes and um, yeah she's a cutie yes so um, yeah that's my Sadeline and I will take this also out because it's it's really warm here not normal for this time of the year but um, we try to enjoy, of course, but the grass is already yellow and mostly of the time that's in the month of August during summer that it becomes yellow but it's now June and it's already yellow so we really need some rain, yes, some summer rain good summer rains but yeah we have to take how it is how it comes we don't have that kind of things in our hands so this is with Thumper and Thumper is the friend of Bambi and I did put my uh, Gwendolyn in the Bambi outfit and I am going to put Sarah Lynn in the thumper outfit yes because I really love this outfit and I did get them last year I think we yeah, are one year ago or maybe longer I don't know from uh, Claudia and uh, yeah the outfits that I get from the friends are special and will always stay uh, although um, our grandchild did use some outfits but I did get them back when he 
it grew out of it already. It's the grandson that is five months now. Yes. So it's really going very fast. Yes, too fast, but yeah. It's good that they grow, of course. And so here's the bloomer. Bloomers. The bloomers are a minty green color with the tamper on it. Tampers on it all over it. Jumping tamper, sleeping tamper, uh, all kind of tampers. And there are flowers. Pink flowers, blue flowers, yellow flowers. So it's really a summery outfit. And I like that. And uh, I also want to share uh, the reading for you. I didn't think over it, so I'm just reading out of the book Daily Inspiration for a Woman from Helen Steiner Risch that I did get from our dear friends Kitty and Totti over at Little Water Nursery and um, yeah so uh, I'm happy with it because uh, it's it's a good way to, to share something about my faith with you and to enjoy this hobby together but also to think over what is more important in our life and that is our Lord so and the day for uh, what they the question is why so it's called why today why why am I impatient and continually vexed and often bewildered disturbed disturbed and perplexed Acts 2 verse 12 says, amazed and perplexed, they ask one another, what does this mean? And that's when the Holy Spirit came down on the people and they could speak in other languages. And they spread the gospel among many people at the time who were gathering there. And they said, well, they did, probably they have drunk and some, drink some wine. And others said, no, this is really so... Yeah, that is the context of that Bible verse. So they were amazed and perplexed because of the Holy Spirit. What frustrates you about yourself? Hmm. Ooh. What frustrates me about myself? I, I, I try to find peace with myself you know I did frustrate a lot with myself in the past but I think I have learned that um, I must um, accept the way I am and uh, that the way I am is not always good but um, I don't have to frustrate myself about it because that doesn't really help me um, so yeah, I think I have left the frustrations behind me about myself and I've, I think I've accepted myself because I know that Jesus loves me and I did re re read in another book, let me take it with me, um, it is in a Dutch book, but there was a sentence in it and I really had to yeah, yeah that, that, that struck me and, and I think I can can put it also in this this uh, theme. The, so it's about when you have to suffer and that's uh, the first question um, for every person that has to suffer is not did I sin? So it's not the question did I sin? But do you still love me? And you is the Lord. So that's the first question we have to ask when there is suffering in our life. Not, did I sin? No. Do you still love me? And when you understand that Jesus loves you, then it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, then, then you understand that then you get the personal relationship with God and then you can feel that He is with you in your suffering and that He is also crying.
course you have to suffer. So, um, and also with your own frustration, oh it was about the frustrations, well, yeah, so also in your own frustration, you you know that Jesus loves you, then you don't have to get frustrated about yourself. But when there are things you think, well, that's not, not good for me, then you can run to Jesus. And then you can lay there your frustration, where we talked yesterday about, that you can lay your anger and your, your um, shame and your uh, fault, you can all lay them down. And that's also with frustrations. So, okay, well. Um, so the Lynn is ready now, you see, and I will pray with you, and then we have done well. It is, I will, I will put this video on for Tuesday, I think, yeah, I think so, well, I'm not sure, I sometimes do record things and I think later on, how shall I do it, because you know, I don't want to get videos too long, anyway, um, Tuesday, Tuesday is Tiny Reborn Tuesday, hosted by a different Mel from Melamore Nursery. Pop over at her channel. And Tuesday is also Toddler Tuesday. But uh, Sadalyn is definitely not a toddler. But um, Toddler Tuesday is hosted by our dear friend Renee and Sam. And um, I think this week it was another, it was Sina's doll who did the team for Toddler Tuesday. I'm not sure, but I am sure you know it all. And um, yeah, what is what is there more on Tuesday? Well, there will definitely be more teams on Tuesday, but I am not sure. Well, anyway, um, let's pray about our frustrations with ourselves. And you know, when you when you really can can understand that you don't have to get frustrated with yourself, you also don't have to get frustrated with others. So, yeah, but we are impatient sometimes, yes, yes, me too, I have to think it over, but yeah, I think I'm impatient, but it no, had nothing to do with me, it was with YouTube, with the uploading that took a very, took a very long time and I was really frustrated, but of course it's it's my own frustration, because, yeah, and I don't know why, <laughs> I don't know why I was frustrated, yeah, so, but let us pray then. Lord, I am impatient at times, I'll admit it, and sometimes I let frustration guide me instead of your supernatural peace. Thank you for the reminder that negative emotions should drive me toward you not away from you. You care about my feelings, but you care enough to remind me that you are greater than what I am feeling. I am so grateful for that, Father. Amen. Yes, amen to that. Yes. He cares about our feelings. Yes, and he cares enough to remind us that he is much more greater than my feelings. Yes, that makes me grateful, yes. He's a holy God, he is a very almighty God, he is a, um, yeah, he's very holy and we can come to him through his son, Jesus Christ. Well, dear friends, this is my Sarah Lynn and I'm going to put her with her sister Gwendolyn and then I will change the dessert baby. I want to wish you all a very blessed day and I love you all. Big hug.